In today's video, we will explain how high we can build future skyscrapers. Did you know that there are plans for a building that is taller than Mount Everest? And that it could fit up to 30 million people inside? Before we go on, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below how high you think we can really build. Now, let's get into it. Number 5. Burj Khalifa Let's start with the current world's tallest skyscraper as a reference. Located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, the Burj Khalifa has a height of 828 meters, or just over 2,720 feet. Construction started in 2004 in the hopes of bringing more tourism to the nation. The $1.5 billion skyscraper is mainly used as a residential space that also includes hotel rooms, but the building has so much more than that. It features one of the world's highest observation decks and has the second largest choreographed fountain right outside of the entrance. After five years of construction, the skyscraper was finished in 2009 and officially opened to the public in 2010. It will be pretty difficult to build even taller skyscrapers than what we have today. Most countries have height restrictions for their buildings that are regulated by the government. Plus, there needs to be enough flat land available, along with sufficient funding to create a new tower from the ground up. Nonetheless, the world may see a new super-tall skyscraper soon with the construction of the Jeddah Tower underway. The Jeddah Tower might become the first skyscraper that is one kilometer in height. While this sounds like a lot, the tower would still be tiny compared to some of the skyscrapers that we cover later in this video. Unfortunately, there have already been a few major issues arising with the construction. The project was halted back in 2017 after some major investors in the building, including Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, were imprisoned by the Saudi Arabian government in a big corruption scandal. Once the investors were released a few months later, there were still problems with the skyscraper. Vertical transportation to such a height is limited. On top of that, architects are still working on a design and gathering materials that will keep the building from swaying in the wind. This mega-tall tower is currently challenging the Burj Khalifa, but there are much, much taller skyscrapers to come. Number 4. Xseed 4000 The idea for the Xseed 4000 skyscraper was created in 1995 by the Taisei Corporation as an innovative way to develop more housing in Japan. With a height of 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles, it would be taller than Mount Fuji. The goal was to create a city inside of a building with shopping malls and grocery stores so that residents would never have to leave. The skyscraper would offer enough housing to accommodate up to 1 million people. The project was also meant as a way to inspire others to create more unconventional skyscrapers that relied on clean energy. The Taisei Corporation planned to run the tower completely on solar power although they were not entirely sure about how they could get their hands on so much energy. In order to accommodate for the wide base necessary for such a building, the architects envisioned that the skyscraper would have to be located on the Pacific Ring of Fire. If built, the Xseed 4000 would be the tallest skyscraper in the world by far, and the most expensive, with a price tag of $900 billion. Some estimates claim that the cost of construction would be even higher, up to $1.7 trillion. The building would be made with 3 million tons of steel, which is enough to build 300 Eiffel Towers. The exact time it would take for the Xseed 4000 to become a reality is unknown, since architects believe a project of this size might not yet be possible. Although there were rumors that the Taisei Corporation was working on building the Xseed 4000 back in 2007, the company confirmed that there are still some kinks to be worked out before they can start on such a big project. Number 3. Tokyo Tower of Babel Another city within a skyscraper, the concept of the Tokyo Tower of Babel came to life in 1992. It was originally presented at the Global Environment Summit in Brazil by the Toshio Ojima Laboratory from Waseda University. 
With a height of 10 kilometers or 33,000 feet, it would be even taller than Mount Everest and even higher than the average airplane flies. That means the skyscraper would not just be the tallest tower, but the tallest object on planet Earth. In order for such a tall tower to be built, architects would need a base of around 4,100 square kilometers. That would be over two times the size of Houston, Texas. Once finished, the building would be large enough to house 30 million people. At the proposed time of construction, the Japanese economy completely crashed, so the building never saw the light of day. Even though the nation has since recovered, it looks like the project may be too pricey to ever become a reality. Construction would cost approximately $306 trillion. Plus, it would take up to 150 years for the Tokyo Tower of Babel to be complete. Number 2. The Launch Loop Our next concept shows that maybe the sky actually isn't the limit when it comes to future buildings. The Launch Loop was first mentioned in the American Astronautical Newsletter by Keith Lofstrom back in 1981. The loop would be made with a series of cables connected to the Earth. It would propel objects into space through a magnetic levitation system, similar to the way the Shanghai Transrapid Train currently operates. In order to reach the area above the atmosphere and back, it would have to be 2,000 kilometers or 1,240 meters in length, with a maximum height of 80 kilometers. That's eight times taller than where airplanes fly. If successful, it could launch vehicles into space without the need of a rocket, paving the way for space tourism and exploration. Anyone lucky enough to ride the loop would travel at speeds of up to 14 kilometers per second. Before the loop can become a reality, there are still some things scientists need to work on. Just one year of operation would cost approximately $10 billion, and the technology to create the launch loop is still being developed. The magnetic levitation system necessary for the project would be very difficult to create. Plus, researchers would have to find an area to station the launch loop that is not heavily populated in order to start the construction. Number 1. Space Elevator This last concept has been in the works since 1895, when Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky came up with the idea of the space elevator. He envisioned it to be a tower with a height of almost 35,800 kilometers. At the time, there was no material available that had enough compressive energy for such a project. Since the 20th century, others interested in creating the space elevator have focused on a tensile structure. Many different companies have been racing to be the first to successfully execute their vision of this project, but the concept for all of them includes basically the same elements. The elevator would include a cable that could reach above the Earth's atmosphere, a counterweight such as an asteroid, and a climber willing to take the journey up the cable. There are still issues in pinpointing exactly what type of material would be strong enough to use, with some looking at diamond nanothreads as a possible source. Others are advocating for graphene, a carbon-based material that could withstand the tension on the cables. Finalizing the project will not be easy, since scientists will have to take a lot of different factors into account. Space debris could potentially damage the elevator, and it could be difficult to find enough material to build the elevator so high up. There are a lot of technical complications involved in this project, including the $10 billion price tag. However, physicists from the Shizuoka University in Japan are already conducting experiments to see how the elevator can function on a smaller scale. Apparently, the Obayashi Corporation, based in Tokyo, believes they can have a space elevator finished by the year 2050. Some claim that they can do even better than that, with developers in China challenging that they can have their elevator ready by 2045. What do you think about all these super high skyscrapers? Would you want to take a ride in the space elevator? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.